So obviously this is a very moving film um, with the exceptional um, artistry of Panteis Vulgaris, uh, screenplay Panteis uh, Vulgaris and his wife Ioana Cristiani. Um, how was it for you to work with Panteis Vulgaris? So that's my first question and let's start with that. Okay. Hi everyone. Um, it, you know, it was a dream come true in a sense. Um, he's uh, one of our greatest directors um, and um, he has a great uh, knowledge of uh, Greek history mm -hmm. and um, you know, he's, he's dabbled with subjects like this in the past and I, I feel like he really wanted to make mm -hmm. this movie to tell this specific story of our history. And um, it was incredible to work with them. Uh, they're both, they're a great team. Mm -hmm. um, it's very rare to have a husband and wife work so well together. <laughs> and they do, so yeah, it was amazing. Well, I was uh, very lucky when he came with Brides in 2000. Five, I think I was um, presenting his work here, so I've, I've met them both, and I know how well that collaboration goes. Um, of course, as you say, he has a good knowledge of history, and he wanted to tell this story. But I, I don't know if you have knowledge about this, but what do you think gave him the uh, incentive to tell this story now? Because it seems it's been, you know, in yeah. his system for a while, maybe. Yeah. Um, well. You know, I think um, he's always restless. He's a very restless storyteller, and he's very, he's incredibly sensitive, and he's mainly concerned, as, you know, as far as I know, um, he's, he's always been concerned with the human condition and what makes people do what they do, what makes these men stand up, what, made, what gave them the courage to put their best clothes on, um, and ask to not be blindfolded and um, to sort of die in a, with, a, with a dignity instead of giving up the information. They weren't Jewish prisoners. They weren't, you know, they, they didn't have to. There, there were ways that they could have gotten out of it in a sense, and um, they didn't. And I think that's something that fascinates uh, Patelis. And, um, uh, and I think, of course, now with the Greek crisis and all of you know what, 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 what uh, these these questions that no one has answers to. You know, how did things start? When did it start? You know, all of that stuff. Um, but I think mainly, you know, it's not a political movie for Pandelis. I think some people might see it as a political movie. But while we were shooting, we had no conversations about what it, what kind of a statement this movie is making. And that he's just concerned with the emotion of it and mm -hmm. the human condition. How was it, yes, it was a dream come true, but how was it actually being directed by Vandalis? Can you talk to us about that experience that you had? Maybe share a, a moment or two with us. Um, yeah, I mean, this, yeah, Vandalis is the most, he never shouts, he never, raises his voice. Um, he, he leads an incredibly calm uh, set, and it's almost like you're in a dream. Um, I came out of that shoot feeling like something had really shifted for me. Um, he's really special. There's something incredibly special from very deep inside of him, um, and it just emits in this very quiet, but very powerful way. Um, and he just, he really loves actors in a very profound way. Mm -hmm. he, he sits there and he just, as you're running lines, just rehearsing, he just sits there and stares at you and just, just really enjoys your process. It's very interesting that he's still, after all these years, all these movies, so in love with actors and mm -hmm. filmmaking. Um, there was one moment which uh, was at the end of the shoot for me, but we actually, in the movie, it's the very beginning where I'm in the, in the ground over the dead body, we're about to bury them. So that's, you know, the end of the story, but in the beginning. And um, that was my last day on set, and uh, I was flying back here to LA to 
go to do something else. And um, he came over, you know, he's pretty old now, <laughs> and he hobbled over, and um, I'm deep in the ground, and he sort of kneels down, you know, it's a little difficult for him to do it, he sort of kneels down, and I'm focused, I'm reading this letter, the last note, um, to get myself to that emotional state of mind, and um, I look up like that, and I see him, and he sits sitting on the ground, um, and he's tearing up, and he takes off his glasses, he's, he wipes his eyes, and he looks at me and says, we're going to really miss you when you leave. And he puts his glasses back on, hobbles back up, and he destroyed me. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> and, then, um, and then he was really funny because he went back to his director's chair and said, okay, Malia, that crying is too much for this scene. You need to bring it down. <laughs> I was like, I'm not acting. <laughs> he's just wonderful, like in every way, he's so calm, and you feel like you're in the safest hands. Um, and I think that comes with, from his talent and his experience and just who he is as a person. Well, thank you, that's a beautiful scene. I, I have nothing to add. I, mean, I want to take questions from the audience about this film, um, but I do want to ask you the kind of follow-up question of what are you working on now? But before we end up with this, yeah. let's see whether we can stay with the film and yeah. see if we have any questions. Thank you. Any questions from the audience? Can you see? We can't see. Okay. Is it really the actors have to learn German? If some of them, like Andreas, seems pretty comfortable if you speak the language? Andreas speaks German. Um, the main the main actor actually speaks German. Um, but Kovac didn't, right? Kovac is a Greek guy. The, the guy who plays the very blonde Hungarian, he's, like, he's actually Greek. And no, he, didn't, he doesn't know German. He learned some German, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There were a lot of, most of the, except for the main, for the commander, everyone else is Greek. Yeah. Any more questions? Did you guys like it? Or? <laughs> it's an easy movie for a Saturday afternoon, huh? <laughs> exactly. Um, I guess now is the moment for me to ask you if you want to talk about this, about projects you might have or what you, oh, you are doing, just for one minute to give us something that is related um, to you. I'm, I'm doing a TV show we're shooting in Vancouver at the moment. Um, it's a show for CBS. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, it's called That's Salvation, right. and it's premiering soon on June 25th. <laughs> See, yeah. that's nice. Yeah.